What's up, everybody? Michael Silva here, extremely excited for today's episode. I'm going to be sharing with you one of my all-time favorite scans. Yes, my favorite scan. More than the Party Starter scan, more than the Dark Money scan, more than the Bouncy Ball scan, which are all linked in the description below if you'd like to watch them. This scan here has helped me find stocks like Allstate, and LXU, which was up over 100%. Not only am I gonna show you this scan itself, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is that I look for and walk you through a live scan today. This scan is called Show Me The Money! All right, everybody, welcome to the computer. So there's a saying, strong stocks get stronger. We're gonna be looking in this scan specifically for strong stocks. What is that gonna look like when we run the scan? Well, the stock is most likely gonna be in some sort of an uptrend, and you're gonna be looking for stocks that have been pulling back a little bit, okay? So we're looking for stocks that are around their 52 week high, maybe zero to 10% below it, okay? Very simple. So the stock is going to look something like this. Maybe perhaps it's going down from an uptrend, right? And now it's starting to tighten up. So the stock might look like something like this. Okay, now I know this is a bad drawing, but bear with me. The reason why we're looking for a stock like this is because it allows for what's called a better risk to reward. Okay, so there'll be a clear area of resistance and price action will be getting very, very tight right here. And by risk to reward, I mean, if the price starts to break out, it'll allow us to have a very tight stop loss for if the trade fails. However, having a very small risk amount will allow for much more upside potential. And I'll show you what that looks like on the charts momentarily. Let's go ahead and go to finviz.com to go over this scan. From there, you're gonna wanna hit the screener tab. Once you're there, hit the tab that says all. There's three settings that we're gonna be looking for here. The first one is 52 week high low. Go ahead and click that and scan down for zero to 10% below the high. This will allow us to filter out many stocks that have been in a strong uptrend but are pulling back. The next one I wanna look at is average volume. Now this could be a preference, but at lowest amount, I would say at least over 200K. Typically you want more liquid names, but I'm fine with seeing the illiquid names because you can find some very big runners. The next filter is relative volume. Now this is gonna be different than what people might think. I'm gonna be looking for relative volume under one. Why would I say under one? Well, typically if it's over one or even over three, over four, over five, a lot of volume has came into the stock already. I'm looking for volume to be drying up, which could indicate that price action is also getting very tight. That is a key secret here in this scan. So go ahead and hit under one. Now from that point, I like to go to the volume tab. I like to double click it so I can see the most liquid names first. Then from here, I wanna go ahead and click charts, then candle, and then that'll allow me to start going through the various charts. Now, we have a total of 726 charts that we can scan through. That's quite a bit. So what we could do is simply take the volume and even make it even drier. So say under 0.5. Now we have a 169 different options to choose from. You can play around with the settings as you see fit. But now let's go ahead and take a look at these charts. So as I'm scanning through this, I've already called or see a couple of very nice setups. So for example, GDX, remember the drawing that we just recently did? The stock goes up and then it starts to tighten up and you can see here there's a clear pivot. This to me shows that we have a strong stock and it's starting to consolidate, volume is drying up as price continues to tighten up here, it could indicate that we're having another expansion soon in the price action. That is a very good one to keep an eye on. As we go down the list, here's a utility name, PCG, PG&E. Also, big nice uptrend, and now what we're starting to see is it consolidate here after pulling back some. Right at around $12, you can see here, there's a clear area of resistance that was prior to support. 
So as price action moved up and it pulled back, it's getting tighter here. The pivot is right around $12. So here, if it starts breaking out, it could make a run to around 13. XLI, and now I'm gonna just start looking at them on these smaller little charts here so we can do it a little bit quicker. But XLI, you can see very similar tight price action right here. XLV is one of the ET, we're looking at the spiders, right? This is industrials, this is healthcare. Keep on going down the list, see if I see anything. This is Vanguard S and P500 ETF. Here's an interesting one, INFY. This looks actually very nice here. So if I go ahead and open that, I wanna open it up. So you can see here, there was some nice volume on the way up. You can see pockets of big green bars, but now price is starting to flag and consolidate sideways and get very, very dried up here, which could indicate that we might see a push higher here if it starts getting above that 25 level. So that'd be one to keep an eye on there as well. This one right here is XEL. This is a utility stock here. You can see it went up and now it's consolidating, breaking out of a bull flag, but volume hasn't entered in yet. So this could indicate that we have some more upside as well if it starts pressing higher. I like the risk to reward there. CAT, this is Caterpillar. Caterpillar is getting very, very tight right here. You can see a nice big move up and now the price is getting very, very tight, which could indicate another leg higher here soon as volume's really drying up here. So you can play a breakout of 225 and then have a very tight stop loss right there. KSS is another one. Look at this big, huge move to the upside on some strong volume. Price is nicely consolidating right here in a bull flag. Okay, and volume is drying up. This could indicate that we might have some further upside if we start breaking out. Now, how you play this is you would buy the breakout and you put a stop under that 60 level. So if we catch a nice move to the upside, awesome. But if we just get stopped out, well, it's very minimal. Here's another one, Amgen. So if we pull that one open, take a look here. We have some volatility. We had this deep pullback here. Then the pullback got a little bit tighter and now it's getting even tighter right here, which indicates as volume's drying up, a break above 240 on a big you know, pull of volume coming in, that could indicate another leg higher in Amgen. This is definitely one that I keep on the watch list. It actually reminds me of Allstate, that recent trade that I took that I showed at the beginning of the video. There's quite a few pages here. We can go on to the next. You can see various other setups like HWM. It's getting very tight right here. SBLK, Star Bolt Carriers. Look at that flag right there as price is getting very, very tight, which indicates that we could have a very strong move here in the very near future. Now, the reason why I'm gonna pull this up once again, because I wanna make sure that you understand this. The reason why I like this is because how tight price action is getting in the current context. Okay, so strong stocks, they can get stronger, but if they don't, our risk is minimal. That is what's so important about this scan. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you on today's video. I hope this helps you find some very strong setups. Make sure to share them with me on Twitter if you do, or on my Instagram. All those links are in the description below. See you later.